Oh, oh fucking but you think you think uh, banging it is a quicker rush than than smoking? I don't know. I'm not listen. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I not at all am I glorifying any of this shit. Don't yeah. get me. I'm just yes, you, you are. You no, junkie. I, I, I don't know that one so, hotel night with the with that the sounded chick you fun. Picked up. Yeah, I was like, wow, what a night. It sounded oh, fun. Fucking yeah. great. Yeah, there was not <laughs> one. There was not <laughs> one bad <laughs> thing that came out of that. No, right? I was like, <laughs> and then you went back to work. No problem. <laughs> yeah, he was actually responsible enough yeah. to drive and to finish his game. You had it all. What were you doing? Well, it, it, Sounds it like a fun good. trip. <laughs> you're driving back to Boston from here. You live here, but you got to drive back there. Your nose what is, is that, bleeding. six hour drive? Or? I don't know, four and a half. It was just horrible. You depressed yeah, driving we back? To, we went into like Hartford and we tried to cop some heroin and coke. And See, that's what I would imagine off. with the problem. The yeah. problem is like trying to score. Like that That seems to be the. I mean, of course, when you're going to get so many downsides, but yeah. it's the hunt that I think would bug me. The well, most. that's the excitement too is going to cop. I mean, that's part of the excitement. Really? Yeah, we we had a we See this girl too like I met. She goes, and this I was a drug addict then. She goes, "I want to buy an ounce of coke, my sister." And I was going to get the money and I, obviously I would have ripped her off. Right? <laughs> of course. That's, <laughs> that's what right? you, you do. Would have occurred to me. Addict, I know. It goes I would have ripped I would have ripped her off. But 4 years later, thank God I didn't. Mm. I'm working a club in in Florida. And she's there with her boyfriend, who's as big as a house. Oh, Jesus. So if I would have ripped her off, I would have got fucking killed. Four but that's later. all you think about is just, you know, you know, just whatever. You, get, you just, got ripped off, didn't you? No. Yeah, a few, a few times. More than once? At gunpoint, or they just, they just took off? No, no, they just took it. It was in the hallway in Newark. Yeah, no times. honor, man. I, no I fucking knife. honor. I was about to get fucked knife? up one time. Yeah, knife too. Knife. Good lord. I was in the projects in New Brunswick. I was actually getting crack, and um, they, I was such a dog. I was so drunk, and I fucking walk into the projects, and I go up the steps. The guy goes, "Come up here." So he was gonna take me up. Into oh, the, good idea. I yeah, was that's... so dumb, and we're on the <laughs> landing way, and this guy Rodney, I knew who lived in the projects, walked in and said hello to me, and we and we talked. He goes, "Nah, don't go up there, man. Take care of him right here." So the, Rodney knew it was about right. to happen. Maybe he was going to give me a special deal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, the discounts are all upstairs. Yeah. Like, if you hear like this, don't you just feel like, man, I've lived a really sheltered yeah, life? Yeah, yeah, no kidding. Yeah. Like, I, I used to think I was edgy, and then you hear shit like that. I'm like, just, man. I was always too afraid of, of jail to do anything that was really bad. You know, stupid stuff with knocking down mailboxes with your car or shit like that. But I heard stories of like, you know, hey, you want to take the car in? I, I got to pick up a kilo in the city and... Get, like yeah, that's that's what I want to do. Get caught with a kilo of fucking coke <laughs> under my car seat. All I'm thinking is, you know, hall. Oh, there I am sucking big black cock in prison. <laughs> that's the first thing Why that comes it to your mind. Why about black? So black 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 prison cock. Because so, yeah. there's only one thing worse than sucking white cock. <laughs> 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 I don't think we'll get anyone denying that. This is hilarious. <laughs> it's just kept me out of, you know, trouble. And, and, and that kept me from doing that shit. I, I wrote a bit on this. This is true. I pulled up in Harlem, and I go to this guy, what do you got? And he showed me, like, five vials. And I snatched them out of his hand. He punched me twice in the face. He went, bam, bam, right? I'm all fucked. So I drive away. I go, let me get the fuck out of here. You know, I'm in Harlem. And I'm Gee, getting you're punched. sharp. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not lying. I'm banging on cars. And I, get, I got the five vials in my hand, or three. And I throw in the pipe, and it was soap, right? Oh, Jesus. He's, he's hitting me in the face for <laughs> ripping him off for fucking soap, right? So I pull, you're pissed well, that you got hit. I pull back on him. You don't rip when I'm ripping you. Oh, you know what I mean? <laughs> he hit me over five soap, you fucking douchebag. <laughs> 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 I, don't, I don't know oh, what part shit. of that story is more horrible. <laughs> yeah, and, I, and also I just sit there going, "All right, it's me," and I put myself in boss's shoes, and I'm just like, "The dude punches me in the face once." Yeah, and that's it. I don't drive away. I pass out. You're done. You're no. knocked I pass out. Where the fist hits me, I see yeah. it coming, and my nerve endings shut down. We I've were, never been one for, for I go getting to hit. Physical shock. We were, <laughs> my, buddy, my, my buddy Mike was a bodybuilder who I got sober with, and uh, he eventually relapsed, heart attack, and he was dead. But he was uh, getting high oh, all the time in Harlem. Wonderful. But I, it, it, he was in Harlem. I didn't know when he was active, and he's a big little fucker, man. He was a stocked uh, big little fucker. I mean, short but right. fucking. He was a problem. And he went up into Harlem and he was fucking getting high. And he said he came out and his car was on blocks. <laughs> and he just fucking broke down and cried. <laughs> <laughs> and a hooker helped him. <laughs> a prostitute actually helped him. <laughs> I, tried to I tried to sell my friend's car when he lent me his car. I pull it. I go. You were really, really. Yeah, you I were, got yeah. the radio. I got the radio out. Deep. Oh, we got out of the car. I went up there with comics, Keith Barony, some guy. And I get, 
got a car. I, just no lie. There's a guy chasing another guy around the car with a butcher knife. <laughs> and so my the guy goes, don't get out of the car. I go, he's not fucking after me. <laughs> That's another thing going on. <laughs> I, just walk, I walk by him. I go, what's happening? <laughs> and I had the keys to the front doors in places there. I mean, it was just, it, it was so fucking crazy. We took David Spade hostage. When he first came to New York, when he was a con, he's from Arizona. He's this little white kid. He's, he's doing props. So we're doing a gig, me and Frankie Bastille, right? Frankie's a heroin addict and I'm a crack addict. So we're driving and David Spade is coming with us to this gig. And we, on the way back from Jersey, we say to him, hey, look, we got to make a couple stops. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. And he's this no. little timid guy then. And I go, I go, look, I got to go up and see my sister. She lives uptown. So I go to cop crack up in like 158th and whatever. I used to 57. Right, and this guy's frightened to death. He's never, he's from Arizona. Then Frankie goes to the Lower East Side, right? And he's like, Can you drop me off? And we go, Hey, we got shit to do. <laughs> I'm driving. <laughs> I'm, I'm driving. He's sitting in the front seat, and Frankie's in the back banging dope, right? <laughs> he's going, Look, shit. I just want to get out of here. <laughs> Dude's like, Bye bye. You know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do first. Did you, know? you all make it to the gig? That was after the gig. Sounds right. like another fine story where no one got <laughs> Again, hurt. Like at the end yeah, of the day, everyone a, gets to their job. Nice David Spade it's story. It's a cute story, but fast forward 15 years, Rich <laughs> David. <laughs> <laughs> uh, does this does this shit bug you at all, Jason? Like like talking about it or no? Did it no. years ago? Like when you first, uh, maybe your first uh, year. No. It's not like smoking really. when you. I mean, if I'm around it, I mean, if I like, I've um, went out and been around people doing coke and stuff, and that bothers me. It just makes me more sick because I just I see what I was doing and it's just it's retarded. Yeah. Like nothing just worse. Like, than, just like yeah. stories like that, just doing the the stupidest stuff, like ending up and the night. It's like um, if I was at a club, I just wanted to do drugs all night, so I'd go home with these random people and just be like in the middle of nowhere's. Like and then they run out of coke and I want more. Everyone's like going right to sleep. I'd be like, man, let's let's get more. Let's get more. <laughs> oh, yeah. And just taking the middle of the woods, like, man, we're going to bed. And I'd be like stuck because I wouldn't know where I was. Like an hour from like wherever. You know, all I'm you just, cared about was getting there. Stuff, yeah. And like going two and three in the morning yeah. to Elizabeth and the projects and hanging out in shooting galleries with like people nodding <laughs> out next to you don't know and shit just See, like when, when you're copping when you're copping in New York it's a little more glamorous you go to Harlem and stuff in Jersey yeah. you go to Elizabeth <laughs> <laughs> but you should oh god North North shooting Elizabeth. galleries this, man this, this <laughs> was a, the, one of the great I mean it's such a, it was a horrible time and so glad that it's over but there were like moments that in retrospect are like really hysterical and there was one of the byproducts was like this weird paranoia that the studio used to get and we lived in this apartment oh. in Red Bank and he was dating this chick Stephanie and one morning I got up and his room was on the way to the kitchen I stumble in the kitchen and I see Muse laying on the floor outside the door of his room and the door is cracked open about an inch and he's staring into the room and I'm like what's up sir and he's like shh oh, <laughs> waving God. the hand and pointing at the room and I was like what's up and he's like just go, just shh and so I, I look I look through the room and I, I peer through the crack and it's like his, his old lady's in bed sleeping. And so I go to the kitchen, he follows me. I was like, what's going on? He's like, pretty sure somebody's under the bed. <laughs> oh, no. He's like, what? I was like, what are, you, what are you talking about? He's like, I see her lips moving and I think she's talking to somebody under the bed. I think she snuck some dude in. And she's trying to fuck Holy him, but, shit, that but is it was it was that. fucking insane. Sir. Wow! Yeah, it was it was weird because it wasn't cops or or anything like anyone was after me. It was always I was always dating someone. I was. Like just girl after girl getting high with him, and I it got really bad. To, uh, the worst thing was uh, I was living in Huntington Beach with this girl, and I swear it got to where I'd make her come in the bathroom with me because if I went to the bathroom, I'd swear I'd hear her talking to somebody, and I'd run in and wow. she'd sit there watching TV. So, What's up? And I'd be like, Who's in here? Who are you talking to? She'd be like, what, what are you talking about? And it got so bad that I swear I thought that I started sleeping with my legs wrapped around her like this because I swore that they, she cut a hole in our mattress and there was a dude in there with a hole and he would. <laughs> so I started. I really started going crazy. Shooting crack is not good. <laughs> it will make you go insane. And a I even hole had a, in the mattress. Yeah, like and I some even. Diddle her. Yeah, diddle, <laughs> yeah, it was insane. And, like, my friend one time came and slept over, a uh, really good friend of mine. And I woke oh, up, man. and I and he was downstairs, and she was right next to me. And I swore, like, that I heard him running down the stairs and went down and, like, 
started a fight with him and was like, get out of my house. And he's like, dude, what's up? He's just sitting on the couch smoking dope and shit. <laughs> Trying to just <laughs> mellow out. He was. <laughs> fucking <laughs> lunatic comes <laughs> running in. <laughs> it, it was, Holy it was, shit. it got real. Yeah, I started, I seriously started going like crazy. It was, the hole in the mattress, sir. Sure. That, that is. That takes imagination. <laughs> really? Like that is, that oh, is. I bought, I bought one of those voice activated recorders and put it under a pillow. So like, <laughs> when I would go to the store and come back. And it got, I swear that I'd play the tape and I'd hear yeah. her on the tape to people. <laughs> like all crap. And I'd have maybe. one of my friends talk, listen to me, like, dude, we hear nothing but air. I want to do this shit yeah. sober. I want one of those things. <laughs> you'd hear like <laughs> things, accuser. you'd hear things in the hissing. Yeah, like it'd just be like. <laughs> it's like, what like is that I movie, White Noise? What going on. Well, how, yeah, yeah, White Noise. The EMP and shit. <laughs> Dude, we diddle you through yeah. the mattress tonight. <laughs> it's a message it from was... space and it's Hitler. You <laughs> 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 see uh, fucking uh, contact? <laughs> <laughs> Wow, oh, man, no stories. That yeah, is some paranoia. I, I, you know, been through people at my house when we, we used to, uh, me and my brother used to deal just to support uh, what we were doing. What we never really did a lot. Coke, you know, uh, we people would come over and we'd free base and stuff and uh, uh, sell coke so we can get some. You know, you cut it up, right. you get some good stuff, you cut it up, sell it, and then snort the good stuff or or smoke it. And uh, people would come to the house. It was like three in the morning and. You, you get a knock on the door, and there was a guy standing there once with a big water jug from, you know, water cooler uh -huh. full of pennies. Just going, dude, man, I don't even know how much is in here, but I know it's more than you, you're you asking for. And, like, didn't you just say that, like, uh, didn't you say 10 minutes ago you're too scared to do anything? Like, go pick up a kilo, hey, but you're I, selling I didn't crack? Sell it. My, my brother was. <laughs> this motherfucker's yeah, like, I won't pick up a kilo, but I'll sling rock. I won't <laughs> pick it up. People could die in like, my house. <laughs> Not my, my brother was dealing, and, and but he was living in the same house. Like, I wouldn't be busted, too. And we were all doing it. You know, we were all doing it. How much did the pennies turn out to be? It was, I don't know, whatever was in it. We didn't take it. As a matter of fact, told the guy, just get the fuck out of here. You know, we that bring like real money. That a sweet deal. Bring yeah. real money. Yeah. It might have been more. It might have been less. We couldn't do the math. <laughs> it's like a jelly bean <laughs> fucking thing. How many jelly it's beans like are in like there? Goodwill hunting stores. in that but, moment. But the paranoia, <laughs> the paranoia that you would get, there would be people that would come over and just constantly open in the yeah. curtains and go, dude, what, what is that? What? Like the constant paranoia. Yeah. And then there was, we used to, like, our, our freezer was full of those pretzels that you put in the oven and uh, super Ooh. pretzels, yeah, yeah, nice yeah. pretzels. Yeah. But the salt would get on the floor, and by the end of the night, like, three guys would be yeah, crawling so around with pretzel salt in the pipe. Uh, no, man, this I know I dropped this before. <laughs> and there's fucking smoking pretzel it smells, salt. It just like, so bad anything, <laughs> anything white or something that they would pick up off the carpet. <laughs> Was something, and they would rather smoke it and see if it was uh, a free base or coke. Yeah. I was doing coke, and I'm sitting at my mother's house, and I don't know where she. I used to sleep on the floor when she let me in, and I'm fucking so high on crack and coke, and I'm drinking, and I think I saw a mouse, right? <laughs> so I'm like in my underwear, and I put plates of peanut butter around the house because I thought it was a rat. And I wanted to <laughs> sit there, and I'm sitting there like all fucked up. I'm gonna catch a rat in the house, you know. I'm just, you know, like I got like a fucking hammer <laughs> in my hand. Paranoid of rodents. Rodents. Well, I thought uh, I most saw people it. it's cops, and some people are diddling their girls through <laughs> holes in a mattress. That yeah. is the best paranoia story I've yeah, ever that's heard. Yeah. Best. <laughs> that's right. Meanwhile, up there. the plate of peanut butter, you fucking hear something on it. You look over, it's Kevin Smith. It's <laughs> 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 like free fucking <laughs> peanut butter. <laughs> 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 it's awesome. Kevin Smith. In my house. But he won't eat it. He's just like rubbing the hole in his asshole. Which is, <laughs> is he, can you, can you look, can you look at this? <laughs> hey, we should take a break. All, All right. right. I mean, thanks for the listen. That that's some unbelievable God. shit. Did Damn. you? Were you ever a drug? I was not, never a drug. Not guy. really, man. I'm and like, I like weed I'm is like the toughest little, thing I've ever done. Well, maybe we smoked hash once at Quick mm. Stuff, which oh. is essentially kind of a weed. Hash, yeah. yeah. A little, but I never, a never little pot, weed little hash. Though, man. I went through the coke thing, but nothing. I too never crazy. did that either. Len Bias, when his heart fucking exploded. Yeah, that kind of. I remember reading that, that in high school. People, I was like, right? I'll never touch coke in my life. I did it for about two, maybe two years, and then it got to the point where I was like, this is really bad for you. You know, and then like years later, like ten years later, you go into a bar and see somebody that you used to do coke with, and and they're there, go like, "Hey man, what's up? You want to yeah. go in the bathroom?" <laughs> and their mouth is like grinding away, and their eyes darting back and forth, and you're like, 
Dude, what? You still fucking doing this? <laughs> how are they not you dead? You insane? Yeah, how yeah. are you not? I could have done it for 10 more fucking years. <laughs> right. You're like, son of why'd I quit so early? I'm about to quit. <laughs> right. Yeah, Jesus. Hey, this is Jim Norton. If you like the material you just heard, check out the photos and videos from it on opianthony.com.